Hello engineers, you are welcome to Chris Control Automation. Today we are going to look at automatic changeover switch or automatic transfer switch. Okay, yeah. So over here I have with me these control diagrams. Okay, this is the control circuit for the utility power. All right, this is the control circuit for the generator power. Okay, and then these are the power lines. Okay, for utility and then for generator. This is the load. All right. So now, what is the meaning of automatic changeover switch? Automatic changeover switch works in such a way that when the main utility power, okay, supply goes off, all right, the automatic changeover, okay, it will switch on the generator and then it will apply the generator power to the load, all right? And when the utility power comes back again, okay, the generator will go off and then the utility power will be applied to the load. So that is the basic principle of automatic changeover switch. All right. So let's continue here. As I told you earlier, this is the control circuit for the utility side. This is the control circuit for the generator side. So now they are all off. All right. These are our relays and contactors. This is the main relay. Okay. For this utility line. This is the main contactor, the power contactor for the utility side. Okay. And then this is another relay for the same utility side. All right. And then these are also relay for the generator side. This is a contactor for the generator side. All right. Okay. So this R1, okay, its open contact is this. All right. And then this R2, this R2. It close contact is this, all right? This R3, it close contact is this. The R3 here, it close contact is here. The K2, it close contact is also here, all right? Yes, and at the same time, the R3, it open contact is also here. These are the load, okay, lines for the power contactors. So the K1 on the utility side, this is the contact, okay? The K2 on the generator side, this is the contact. So now let's explain the circuit, okay? So we are assuming that we are operating on the utility power, all right? So it means that we are going to switch on this breaker, okay? This breaker, all right? So when this breaker is switched on, okay? Because these contacts are all closed, because this release and contactors, they are all de-energized. So these contacts are all closed, right? So when you switch on the main utility line, Okay, current will flow through this close contact to energize this R1. Okay, at the same time, current will also flow through here to energize the R2. Okay, so when this R1 energizes, this contact will close. When it closes, this K1, okay, it will energize. When it energizes, this contact will close, and then the utility power will be applied to the load. Okay, at the same time, this really, the time it's energized, all right, it open this contact, all right. This really, this R2, it is serving as a sensor, sensor for the utility. I will explain that, okay. So now, we are operating on utility power, all right. You close the main breaker, current flow through this, this contact to energize the R1. This side, close. The K1 energize. This side, close. And then the power the main utility power was applied to the load. This contact, this relay, okay, this relay also energized and it opened the side, all right? Okay, so now we are operating on the utility power. Okay, now, assuming the utility power line, okay, is off, it means that it will be off when you open this breaker, all right? So when you open this breaker, it means that our utility power is going to go off, all right? It is going to go off. So the moment it goes off, let's see here. All this, all this component, the R1, K2, and then R2, they will de-energize. Because when you open here, this R1, K1, and then R2, they will de-energize. Okay? So when the K1 de-energizes, this contact, they will open. And then the utility power will be off. Okay? Will be off. All right? Will be off. When this R2 also de-energizes, this contact will close back, okay, to close back. 
So now our utility power is off. And then we are coming to operate the generator. All right. When you own the generator, okay, and then this breaker is closed. All right. This R3, it is going to energize. All right. When it energizes, this contact will open. Okay. And then this contact will close. So when this contact closes, the K2 would energize. So when the K2 energizes, this contact, they are going to close, okay, to apply the generator power to the load. So now we are operating on the generator, all right? Okay. Now, now that the K2 is energized, this contact is also open, all right? Okay. So now we are operating on the generator. Assuming we are operating on the generator, okay, and then the main utility line, the power comes back. Okay, it comes back again. It means that the gen set will go off. The gen set power will go off, right? So let's see. We are going to uh, power the utility line by closing this breaker. So let's see what will happen. The moment you close this breaker, okay, before I come there, let's see something here. Let's see something. Okay. As this, as the generator power is on, okay, this R3 and then K2, they are all energized. And then this contact, they are open now. All right. So now, when you close the main breaker, okay, the utility power line, all right, current cannot flow through this, this um, contact because they are all open. All right. So in that case, the current is going to find its way here through this R2. So this R2 will energize. When it energizes, then it will open this contact. Okay, and then the R3 will go off. When the R3 de-energizes, this contact is going to open back. Okay, and then this K2 is going to de-energize. When it de-energizes, all right, this contact is going to open back. And then the generator power will be, will be off. Okay, at the same time, when this K2 also de-energize, as they de-energize, all right, the R3, this side close back. This side close back. And the K2 also de-energize and then this side also close back so in that case the r1 is going to energize again so when it energizes this side is going to close and then the k1 is going to energize again when it energizes this contact will close back and then the utility power will be applied to the load so that is how it works okay so this r2 is there to serve as a sensor okay so basically this is how automatic changeover switch operate okay so we are going to see i'm going to do the wiring and see how it will operate okay so let's do the wiring so this is our component okay we have the utility breaker all right the gen set breaker okay the utility contactor gen set contactor then these are the control release all right yes so let's do the wiring and see how we are going to operate okay we are going to tap from the line one on the utility breaker to the gen set breaker, okay? Yeah, because of demonstration, all right? They are using, they are all, they are all using the same line, all right? But when you are doing it practically, okay, the generator should have its own line, live and neutral. It should be different from the utility line, okay? They shouldn't have the same line, no. So engineers, this is the complete wiring, okay? Yeah. So now, as it stands now, we are going to operate on utility, all right? So this is utility breaker, okay? Utility contactor. And then R1, R2, they are the utility side, okay? And then R3, K2, and then this breaker, they are the generator, all right? So as I told you, we have R1, K1, and then R2. They are for the utility, right? And then the breaker, right? So there is it. Okay. K1, R1, and then R2. K1, R1, R2. The gen set, R3 and K2, and then the breaker. So R3, sorry, R3, K2, and then the breaker, all right? So we are going to operate on the utility, okay? 
So let's see. We are operating on the utility, right? So let's operate and see, okay? The moment we own the breaker, the R1, R2, and K1, they are going to energize, okay? R1, R2, and K1, they are going to energize. So let's see. The utility power is on. You see that? You see? The K1 is energized. R1 is energized. R2 is energized. All right? So now that the utility power is on, okay? It means that this side, the R2, is open. This close contact on the R2, it is open. So even if you close the generator breaker, there is no way it will energize. So let's close and see. Let's see. You see that? You have on the generator, but it is not energizing. This contactor is not energizing because this contact is open. So assuming the utility power is off, okay? So let's go off. We are going to go off by opening the breaker like this. We have opened the breaker. It means that the utility power is now off. Let's on our generator, all right? So when you close the generator breaker, the R3 and then the K2, they are going to energize. Let's see the K2. Let's see. You see that? So now our generator is now operating. We are operating on generator, all right? So our load power is from the generator, all right? Let's see here, okay? Now that, all right, the utility power is off, okay? It's off, all right? It means that all this are all de-energized. They are all off. So the R2 is off. This side is closed back. It has closed back. So when on the, the generator breaker, this R3 and K2, they will energize. So when they energize, all right, the R3 and K2, this contact, they will open. Okay? They open. And now, the, let's assume that our utility power is on. Okay? Our utility power is on. So, we are going to close the utility breaker and see what will happen. So, when you close the breaker, all right? When you close the breaker, because this, this R3 and K2, they are energized. These contacts are open. So, there's no way when you close this one, it's not, it's not energized because these contacts are open. But this sensor, this is the this is the utility sensor. This really senses that the utility power is on. So when you close this breaker, this really is going to energize. Alright? So when it energizes, the jet set is going to go off. Why? Because this contact will open. The moment this one energizes, okay, the R2 will open. Let's see. Let's see the utility contactor. Okay. This one will come on. This one will go off. Let's see. You see that? So now our utility power is on. The K1. Okay. The K1 is on. So now it is it has closed. Power is applied to the load. All right. So engineers, this is how this circuit operates. Okay. So in other video of the same changeover, we are going to go into a little more deeper. We are going to go into a little more deeper, all right? So make sure you understand this one very well. This is basically how automatic changeover switch operates. So please, if you are new to this channel, I will urge you that you subscribe to this channel and then you hit on the bell icon. You select all to receive all my videos. And then also please comment, all right? Write something down. Let me see what you think of this circuit. I want your comment, please, okay? And then like the video and share the video to your friends. All right. I'll see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.